Hi Libra, this is going to be your daily download. Good for the sun, rising moon and Venus sign of Libra. But as always, keep in mind, it's a general reading, so it might not resonate with all of you. If you want to see readings for all 12 zodiac signs, check out my other channel, Soma Chandra Tarot. If you would like to book a private reading with me, the link to my website is in the description below. If you are new and you are a Libra or a Sagittarius, you've got to be here. You have to be part of our gang. This is Libra Nation. I also read for Sag on this channel, so subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I read for your sign. Because as those in the family know, I read for you guys as often as humanly possible. Why? I don't know why. Because I have to. Because Libra talks to me a lot. Okay, let's get into it. Recap. What's going on in this relationship, I think, is there is a giant elephant in the room. Communication is not great right now. I think the person you're connecting to is coming out of some kind of a slumber or overcoming something, and they might be afraid and they might need a little bit more time. If this is a friend or a family member, I think that Libra, you might need to adjust the way you communicate with this person or accept the fact that your relationship might be changing. Yeah, because I have octopus at the bottom of the deck and that's about boundaries. Now she came in the upright, which is good, but octopus can kind of glom onto people and with all eight tentacles. So, but she's paused, she's pulled back here. So the octopus does need to be reminded where one person ends and another person begins. Some sovereignty is necessary at this point. That's important to know. So to illuminate the situation for us, for you, Libra, I got spend time together, loyalty, get clarity came out and it insisted upon flying into the reverse, which tells me you're either stalling to get clarity, why I don't know, or maybe you're just afraid to communicate with this person or you just haven't gotten clarity. You feel rejected by them. You want to spend time with them. You feel loyal to them. But you're unclear for some reason. Perhaps they're not communicating effectively with you. Perhaps you're having a hard time communicating with them. That tells me communication's a problem. You need clarity and you're feeling rejected in some way. What you want to say to this person is, I want to tell you how I feel and I love you. So you care about this person. You, if it's a romantic relationship, you either do or think that you might love them. You have feelings for them and you want to tell them how you feel, but you seem to be feeling rejected. You can't seem to, and I, when I see here, I want to tell you how I feel. Are you telling them how you feel? Are you perhaps just showing them how you feel, Libra, by being loyal and saying we want to spend time together? I'll get to the bottom of this with you. I think you might need to communicate a little bit better. I have the Queen of Swords here in reverse. So your Animal Oracle cards to show me on a deeper level what is going on, Libra. I got the Shark in reverse, Stingray in reverse, and Deer. Now I know you care. For some of you, this is a parent-child relationship or a friend. Even if it's a romantic relationship, you're showing me a level of concern for this person. This is like the Queen of Pentacles or the Empress. It's a loving energy. But with shark in reverse, you're circling the water. Shark comes in reverse when something is looming. You're like circling the harbor here. There's like something that needs to be uncovered and said that isn't being said. That's what shark is about. Stingray is such a great energy. Stingray is about being at a pivotal point in your own personal growth and needing to let go of old patterns and old ways of thinking and old ways of communicating and doing things. I don't care what position the card comes in. I have studied this deck and this book forwards and backwards. Like I used to read the Bible with my grandmother as a little girl. This is an important moment right here. It's one of the most important cards in the deck. You need to make a change in the way you're having relationships in general. You're undergoing some kind of a transformation here, Libra. So communication, you might need to pause for a minute and say, wait, do I need to change? Am I playing out an old pattern? Am I resisting something? 
The deer came in the upright. If she came in the reverse, I would say you were hoovering and acting overly concerned, but you're not. You're just concerned, but there's something you want to get off your chest. This is a predator animal, though, by the way. The stingray is also somewhat upset, but you need to let go of a pattern. And I think maybe you're going undergoing some kind of a personal transformation. I think you're at a pivotal point in the way you're having a relationship or perhaps the way you have relationships in general. Your person is showing me drawn to you unhealthy patterns navigate carefully and fear. So this person is drawn to you, but they have some unhealthy patterns and they need to navigate carefully. They're afraid. It's weird. I got a really specific download with this. This person takes a dangerous route every day and they feel they need to navigate carefully. They're a little afraid. Someone might have in your life might have fear, or anxiety of driving, something like that. They may cling to you. I don't know why, but I'm picking up on some parent child stuff and, and as well as relationship. Maybe I'll get a bunch of it all at the same time for some of you. But this person feels the need to navigate carefully in this situation. They may travel. They have had some unhealthy patterns that they need to let go of. And they're fearful. They're afraid of something here with you. The mutual energy between the two of you is vulnerable, but growth and expansion. So you both want growth and expansion in the relationship but you're there, you're both feeling vulnerable. I make note of the fact that we have a mama deer and a baby deer here. So for some of you, this might be about a parent child relationship. You do need to balance out the situation, making plans. I'm sorry. Someone may cancel plans or say, no, I can't make plans. Someone may be planning to talk to the other person, balancing the situation out. You could be dealing with another Libra, a Gemini, perhaps a Sagittarius. What this person wants to say to you is, I want to be more than friends. I couldn't let you get close to me. This person's having a hard time letting you get close to them, but they do want to be more than friends. If you have a familial relationship with them, they want to be something other than friends, I think. Yeah, your person got bear in reverse, bat, but dolphin in reverse. Um, I think this person's feeling a little crabby. Uh, the bear goes into hibernation and he comes out of a slumber. What's a bear like when they first wake up in the spring? Well, they're probably sore and achy and tired. They're starving and they're probably not in the greatest of moods until they eat. Also a maternal energy here in the reverse. Because I have the moon and the ten of swords and the hermit and the bear in reverse, this is a very, very specific download that won't resonate with very many of you, but someone is having issues with pregnancy or motherhood, possibly postpartum, possibly infertility. That's super specific though, for one of you very psychic people talking to me right now, but this person is coming out of a slumber. They are slow out of the gate. They want to make a change in some way, and they know that the time to act is now. There could have been a rebirth between the two of you. It's just slow going. This person is having a hard time being playful at the moment, but they are generally a very playful person. Dolphins are also pod animals. They are very family oriented. This person may be estranged from their family. You guys could be family members. I don't know why I get the feeling it's a family thing for some of you guys. And you are both feeling a little vulnerable, but you do want to change and expand. So your cards, Libra, I have the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Wands in reverse. Your action is the Two of Pentacles, but the Page of Swords in reverse. So the Queen of Swords is a solution lady. If this is you, Libra, you're having a hard time coming up with a good solution. If you're connecting to a person like this, you are having none of it because you think that they're kind of bitchy. <laughs> but you're having a hard time not being easily influenced by your emotions right now. You're in a moment where you do need to be very independent and have unbiased judgment and very clear boundaries and directly communicate. You're struggling with this at the moment. 
the nine of wands is here in reverse. You're feeling kind of overwhelmed. I think some of you might be struggling with boundaries. Maybe you want someone to let you, their guard down with you. Maybe you want to let your guard down with them. But this is about having issues with boundaries and a test of faith. You might be ready to just throw in the towel. I clarified the Nine of Wands in reverse and I got the Ace of Swords, the Tower, the Queen of Cups. Now the Queen of Cups came out of the last reading I did for you. I got the Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups. So you could be connecting to a water sign or this is maybe you have water in your chart. You really want something to happen. You really want a breakthrough and you want it kaboom. This is apparently a major breakthrough that you want to have happen. This person might contact you and say they have or they really care about you. And you might be like, no. Or for some of you, this is a water sign that you want to talk to or you've just had a breakthrough with. Or you might really want to tell them, I love you like I all the way kaboom. I know how I feel about you. But... You might just be, I think some of you guys are mo moving the goalpost for this person if it's a romantic relationship because your action towards them is the two of pentacles, but the page of swords in reverse. And here's the ace of cups coming in. This person might have offered you a cup of love and now you have no idea what to do or you want them to hand you this cup of love. For some of you, the first message I heard when these came out and I was sitting here staring at this and taking notes and drinking coffee, which is what I do, which is why I drop the cards out before I record the reading because I study it. The first message I heard was some of you have feelings for this person, but you keep making excuses and keep trying to like wait and give it time and figure out what to do and you won't think of a new way to communicate it with them. Some of you just can't open up and communicate. If that's a pattern you played out in the past, you need to stop doing that. Stingray wants you to, because it's creating like this need to circle the harbor and you're feeling rejected. It's like you want to be loyal. You want to spend time together, but there's no clarity. Maybe you don't trust this person. Maybe you can't think of a new way to communicate with them. You just kind of don't know what to do. You're overwhelmed. Be careful about letting your guard down. I think that you really want to communicate your feelings to them, but you don't know what to do. You want, it's almost like you don't want to talk to them. You want to, you want them to tell you, I love you, or you're like, I want to tell them this with this cup, but I can't, they won't talk to me or I won't talk to them. Your actions are showing me the communication isn't great for whatever reason. Your person, they see themselves as the Ten of Swords in reverse. So some of them are just avoiding an inevitable, painful, not ending, but like crisis with you of some kind. Maybe they don't want to hurt you. This person may be recovering from some kind of an illness or a disaster in their own life. You need to know that they're on, that they are on the mend. You may know that. Like if you know this person, you're like, yeah, I do. I know this. And maybe that's why you're not talking to them, but it's kind of making you like overwhelmed at this point. Emotionally, you're not sure you can make it through the tough times. Cause I think that some of you have stopped seeing maybe someone else and you're starting something new here, but, or you're going to love yourself first. And that hits you like a ton of bricks. I just heard that just now. The way this person feels about you is the hermit. They could be a Virgo. This person might have something has happened here. Maybe this person's older. Maybe they're sick. Um, this hermit does look a little worn down, but this person is withdrawn. They need to search their soul. I was like, okay, what are they searching their soul about? The Queen of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. Who are these people? We have a lot of people. We have a lot of court cards. We have three queens, we have one king, we got a bunch of pages and knights. Some of you have children, adult children, young children, or maybe some of you want to take action and express in some ways, but explore and study in other ways. I'm seeing a lot of intersections here. So off the top of my head, I think this person's holding back. And I think they want to maintain a level of control. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They may see you as a friend. This Queen of Wands, I hope it's not somebody else, but I don't know. 
This person may be in a relationship now where they want some level. They might want a relationship where they have a level of independence and control. Both the Queen of Wands and the King of Swords can be great friends, have great conversations, and very passionate. This person's holding back. They could be holding on to some fire sign or some fire signs holding on to them. Maybe they just want you to be the queen of wands and not the queen of cups. If you don't understand tarot yet, you need to, uh, we're advanced here in this collective. Study the tarot because I know a lot of you know what these cards mean, but they might want a fiery, passionate relationship and you may know that and you're afraid to talk to them about the love because you want to tell them that you love them. You want to tell them how you feel. This person may be being withdrawn from you and wanting something kind of different here. Both of these people are consummate bachelors and bachelorettes. They hold back. They hold on to something here. You could be the queen of wands or the king of swords. You tell me. This is a general reading. Thousands of people will watch it. If you are a cross watcher, you may need to reverse the roles. Their actions towards you... The seven of wands and the two of swords. I clarified that and I got the moon. Pisces. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, they're definitely not feeling playful. And are they feeling this rebirth? Yeah. But they can't let, look, when this came out, I was like, damn, they do want to be more than friends, but they don't, they can't let you get close to them. They are insecure about something. They are confused about something. They're emotional. With the moon and the hermit here, this could be a very emotional person. They might be going with the ten of swords in reverse. They might be kind of going through a rough time right now. Because they're saying, back off, I feel kind of challenged to a degree. And I need a minute to think about it. They're a bit avoidant. This is a difficult decision for them to make. And they don't know. They might be in the dark, Libra. They might not know what's going on. And the Queen of Swords in reverse tells me that you might be being passive aggressive. And you can't think of a new way to communicate. I do see you trying here with the Two of Pentacles, but you seem awfully overwhelmed. This could, by the way, for like a lot of my masculines, this could be someone that you're letting go of and you're, you're like, screw this person. I'm going for a woman that's a lot more emotionally mature. I'm going to tear everything down and rebuild. I just heard that just right now. So the action between the two of you, a relationship that you're in right now, four of wands, the eight of swords, but the sun in reverse and the two of cups in the reverse. Here's that get clarity in the reverse. So you guys might be spending time together, but everybody's all trapped in their head and uncomfortable about something. That's that shark in reverse and, the, and that stingray in reverse too needing to take the blindfold off and let go of a victim mentality or negative thinking. Look at this card. The message of the Eight of Swords is you think you're trapped, you're not. Look at her. She's not tied that tightly. She can totally get out of that, but she's stuck in her head about something. So you guys, if you both have air in your chart, you're clearly both overthinking it. And so you guys aren't talking to each other. You're not getting clarity with each other. You could have had a Leo involved. All trapped in your head about the foundation of the relationship. So if you guys spend time together, it's like weird. You won't talk or you're just home by yourself or they're home by themselves and everything's fine, but somebody's all stressed out. There seems to be some kind of a blockage in communication. And I said, okay, what is the block? The first card that came out was the Knight of Cups in reverse. And I was like, just give me two more. Page of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Well, first of all, somebody might be looking at an earth sign right now. These could be kids too. Water sign, fire sign, Knight of Pentacles maybe. But the Knight of Cups in reverse is not expressing emotion. I think that's what the problem is here. This person can't let you get close to them and you can't tell them how you feel. Okay. There's no expression of emotion. Another issue is someone could be younger. These are younger people. 
These could just be people in the environment. But um, somebody, it's at a standstill. Someone is being stubborn. Someone cannot sp express emotion. Make sure you're not over romanticizing it or being unrealistic in your expectations. The Knight of Cups can do that when he flips into the reverse. Somebody is very free spirited. And you might be saying, hey, come on, let's go have fun. And they're like, I am an earth sign and I'm stubborn. <laughs> so I, I think that there's a steady pace. And I think that you guys are having fun probably. But this big romantic expression or this big expression of love isn't happening. If this is one of your children or a family member, I think that they just want some freedom and I think they're being really stubborn. They might even be being a little stuck up. <laughs> uh, you know, my kids do this to me too, <laughs> if it's one of your kids. But I was like, all right, well, what's the best case scenario here? The star, the four of cups, the seven of pentacles. So for at least the next couple of days, I think someone will be hoping and hopeful, but someone really just can't, someone's not accepting the other person's cup and someone's just thinking about it and waiting. Somebody's trying to figure out how they feel here and somebody's waiting for something to happen. Someone's waiting for something to happen while the other person can't figure out how they feel. They're very similar energies, but slightly different. This is we're waiting for something to happen and we sit there and we actually think a bit about the past and we think this is futile. When am I going to get to pick this fruit? Oh, I have to be patient if I want to return on my investment. We do a lot of what ifs when we stand here and watch grass grow or gardens grow. And somebody in this situation is being offered a cup and they're not picking it. They're looking at those, but those don't look good either. This could all be you. This could be your person. This is just the outcome. So hopeful, but not a lot of action will take place. And there will be disappointment. Somebody might walk away. Yeah. The five of cups, the eight of cups, the two of wands, death, an ending, bringing a new beginning. I have a king of wands down here too. Somebody, you might get tired of this and walk away and decide to just be their friend or whatever. But I'm seeing a level of disappointment, not a lot happening. But the beauty of tarot is we can figure out what you can do differently. First of all, this is a person that you do, you know, that you're actually having a relationship with. Hopefully you are, because I don't like to pull out readings for people that you haven't freaking talked to in six months. Don't watch tarot about a person that you haven't talked to in six months. Stop psychic stalking you know who you are. And yes, I did just say that out loud. That clogs up my energy. So if you're in, sorry, I just had to say that I'm tired of feeling that energy. I meditate for 10 minutes prior to readings to get people to stop watching about a relationship that's been over for a year. So if you're in this a relationship with this person, you need to talk to them to get clarity and you might be having a hard time being direct with them. And it's really important to absolutely show them that you care, but there's clearly something needs to be uncovered here. And when this shark flips into the upright, he's, yeah, he's a predator animal and it's going to start to make you mad. This may challenge you, Libra, because you need to ask yourself, how long am I going to spend time with a person and be loyal to them while I'm not getting clarity and feeling rejected? There's a page of wands in you. Maybe you're afraid to take a risk. The Knight of Pentacles often does. Just know that this person does want to make some kind of a change, but I think they're slow to come out of the gate with something for some reason, and they're having a hard time being playful acknowledge that they can't be close to you but you got to ask yourself if a person wants to be more than friends and they don't want to get close to you at the same time I don't know about you guys but I wouldn't let that person have their cake and eat it too you know what I mean 
because they sure want a passionate relationship, but they also want to maintain a level of control and they plan on holding back. This might be intentional or at least subconscious. It's really important that you tell them how you feel. A lot of people that I talk to, they hold back on this moment and they actually openly admit why, but they don't hear the words coming out of their own damn mouths. They say, well, I don't want to push them. I'm afraid if I tell them that I love them and I want to hear that back, they'll leave. Well, they might. Why would you stay with a person if you're afraid to say, I love you, and you're afraid they'll leave if you say that? It's what you want to say. That might be the pattern that some of you need to break. It's a boundary thing as well. You know, ask yourself that. If you're only holding back on telling them that you love them because you're afraid the minute they do, you'll leave, for the record, they're already gone. They're already gone, if that's why you're waiting. So, yeah, nothing will, nothing will change without your involvement in it. And just know that um, this person is afraid they are trying to navigate carefully with you. They have some unhealthy patterns they're trying to break or some changes that need to be made for them, but they are drawn to you. So hopefully this message helps you and I hope it resonates with you, you know, if it helps you. You can book a private reading with me if you want to work with me personally. Sorry about my rant in the middle there. I just, as a tarot reader, it's really fucking annoying to have energy that's old come into my energy. Um, I don't recommend watching love readings about a person that hasn't talked to you in a really long time, like a year or more. This message isn't for you. Um, try to stay focused on current energy that will affect change. And it's the best way to bring a person back to, yeah, I hope you understand. As a reader, it's my energy too. So I have feelings about it. And I definitely have feelings about you guys. I really love you guys. I'm always listening to the universe for your Libra. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time.